So a febrile seizure is a seizure that occurs in a child between the age of six months old and six years old when they have a fever. So anything more than 38 degrees Celsius or 100.4 degrees Fahrenheit. It is not due to the absolute height of the temperature. So a temperature as high as 40 degrees Celsius or 104 or five degrees Fahrenheit is not what causes a febrile seizure. It's actually how rapidly the temperature rises. And so most parents don't even actually detect that their child has a fever by the time they've had a seizure. So what that means is even things like fever medications will not prevent a febrile seizure. And unfortunately, there's not anything that's been shown to prevent a febrile seizure from occurring. The typical causes are viral infections because those are the most common things that cause fevers in children. So kind of the run of the mill cold and flu viruses are what typically cause febrile seizures. What you can expect to see is what we call a generalized tonic-clonic seizure. So that is the entire body of the child shaking. It can be really scary. And so it's important to not put anything in their mouth. Uh, just you know, make sure you're putting something soft behind their head to make sure they're not injuring themselves and make sure they're in, in an area where they aren't at risk of getting injured. Please be sure to time the seizure. It can last up to five minutes, but usually it's only one or two minutes long. And then there is a period after the shaking stops where the child can be very sleepy and kind of out of it that can last up to 30 minutes. The most important thing to remember is when to seek medical attention. So if you have a seizure in any child under the age of one, if a seizure occurs without a fever, if the seizure is lasting more than three minutes, it's important to call 911 right away. And if the child is not kind of waking up after about 30 minutes, if there is more than one seizure in a 24 hour period, or if there's anything else that you're concerned about at all, it's important to get medical attention right away.